Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, I will discuss about non mesh suppression. So, objects in the image can be of different sizes as well as shapes. To capture each of the object perfectly, the object detection algorithm leads to, uh, or creates multiple bonding boxes around each detected object. Ideally, for each of the object in the image, we must have a single bonding box. So, to select the best bonding box, from the predicted bonding boxes, these direction algorithms use non-max suppression. So let's see what non-max suppression is. So non-max suppression takes all predicted bonding bonding boxes around a given object and returns the best predicted bonding box. Now you can see that uh, we have a uh, child and a dog. Okay. So now we can see that around child as well as along with the dog, we have multiple bonding boxes. But ideally, we need only one bounding box around each of the object. Like we need only one bounding box around uh, over the dog when we detect the dog. Plus, we only need one bounding box over this child as well. Currently, there are uh, two bounding boxes around the dog and there are four bounding boxes around the child. But in ideal scenario, we only need one bounding box around the child and one bounding box around the dog. So this is our ideal scenario and to achieve this, like we only want one bonding box around the child and one bonding box around the dog. So to achieve this, we use non-max suppression. So before non-max suppression, we have the output in this form. But after use, uh, implementing non-max suppression, we have like this. Uh, we have one bonding boxes around the dog, one bonding box around the dog, and we have only one bonding box around this child as well. Okay. So let's understand the process of selecting the best bonding box using non-mesh suppression. Like you can see here, we have multiple bonding boxes around child as well as the dog. Using my non-mesh suppression, I select the best bonding box around the child as well as the around the dog as well. Okay. So let's understand the process of selecting the best bonding box using non-mesh suppression. First, we take all the predictions like we take all the, like you can see over here, we have uh, four predictions around this child and we have the two predictions around this dog. Okay, so first we take all the predictions and then select the box with highest probability score. Okay, so first we take all the prediction. I will take all these predictions and then select the box bounding this box with highest probability score. Then we compare the overlap of the selected bounding box with the rest of the bounding boxes. Okay, with the rest of the bounding boxes. No, then, then, uh, okay, just rename it. Then we can, then we can remove the bonding boxes having overlap higher than the threshold value. So, uh, uh, after we compare the overlaps of selected bonding box with the rest of the bonding boxes, then we can remove the bonding box having overlap higher than the threshold value. And then we will keep repeating the process until we get only one bonding box around the child or one botany box or the, around the dog. If you have some another scenario value, you need to select one best predicted bonding box. Okay. So let's see how we can implement it this using Python. So in the first step, we will import all the required libraries. Like you can see here, uh, I'm just importing CV2 library, open CV Python library. Then we have uh, to, uh, to import PyTorch module. We just write import torch. And to display any input or output image in the Google in this Google Colab notebook or in any other ID, we use the matplotlib library, which is uh, over here as PLD. Okay. So now I just I'm just created a function by the name read dash prediction. So using this function, I will read the predictions in the dot text file line by line. Okay. So in the doc text file, I have the prediction. So using this read dash prediction i will read all these predictions line by line okay so i'm just uh, running this cell and just importing this function read dash prediction so that i can read the using this read dash predictions i function i will read the predictions in the dot txt file line by line okay so i'm just downloading the predictions from the drive into this google colab notebook so here we have so just click on copy path So in this prediction.txt file, I have all the predictions for the dog and class as well as for the person, which is over here, child. Okay, saved in this prediction.txt file. 
so all the predictions are saved over here so now you can see over here uh, we have three predictions for the child okay and we have two predictions for the dog okay so what we have over here is that uh, we basically have three predictions for this child like you can see over here one two three and two predictions for the dog okay so child is uh, child or person basically uh, child is as person so person is presented by zero class zero class and zero and dog is presented by class number one okay class number one and this is the confidence score 0 0.89 0 0.95 0 0.99 these are the confidence score this is the x1 y1 coordinate of the bonding box and this is the x2 y2 coordinate of the bonding box regarding these coordinates i have already explained in my previous video of intersection over union if you haven't watched that video do watch this complete that complete video so this is the x1 y1 coordinate of the bonding box and this is the x2 y2 coordinate of the bonding box this is the class number class zero which is for the child or person and this is the confidence value okay so still now we have already all the predictions in the prediction.txt file now we need to clean and process this prediction and convert this prediction in a required format or in a proper format okay so uh, dash n stands for new line which you see can see over here so i will just remove the da dash n from all the all the all the all the uh, prediction in the d.txt okay plus uh, i'm just pre-processing this prediction and appending all these predictions in this process prediction list empty list which i have created over here okay plus you can see that all these predictions are saved in the prediction variable okay so all these predictions are just saved in the prediction variable so after just creating a function by the name process dash prediction i will just pass these predictions all these prediction into this function and here is my output now you can see that the output is very clean form here we have the x1 y1 x2 y2 and this is the class name and this is the confidence code so now you can see that the output is very clean and this is just i have just seen two parameters how they are working so now i will just download a, a child and a dog image from the drive and just show show in the google colab notebook so i'm just downloading the image from the drive and just displaying that image in the google colab notebook so so using cv.2.im read uh, function using cv2. function i'm just reading the image of person and dog okay plus then i'm just converting that basically a uh, cv2 dot cv2 uh, reads image in the form of cv2 represent open cv python library so open cv python library reads image in the bgr format okay so open cv python or cv2 library reads image in the form of in the bgr format okay but as we know that uh, using matplotlib or uh, to display any image using matplotlib plt uh, we need to convert the image into rgb format so now so now to show the image into this google colab notebook in using matplotlib uh, i need to convert this image into rgb format and then i have just showed the image because cv2 read image in the bgr format and to display this image in google colab notebook i need to convert this image into rgb format and then using matplotlib i am just showing you the input image okay then basically what we do is basically uh then here i've just defined the color map so we have zero for the child and one is for the dog okay so now here i just find the color map so here i've just defined the color for the child this is the color for the child and this is the color border dog so this is the bounding box color for the child which i have defined and this is the bounding box color for the dog which i have defined over here and using draw dash boxes function i will just create uh the rectangle around this bounding box rectangle around this child as well as the dog the dog so i have just drawn all the predictions which i have in the predictions.txt file and you can see that uh, we have three bounding boxes around the child and two bounding boxes around the dog okay so now using non expression we will we need to select best bounding box around the dog as well as the best bounding box around the child so we just need only one bounding box we don't need multiple bounding box around the a child or a dog or for any other class here i'm just using that iou calculate iou function i have already explained this iou calculate iou function because we have implemented this function in the previous lecture intersection over union in the previous lecture intersection over union i have already explained this function in detail if you haven't watched that tutorial do watch that tutorial i have already explained this function over there 
okay so i will just move towards a non max expression function so i am just creating two empty lists and then i am just sorting the list based on the descending orbit format okay and then just i am performing the uh, filtering using probability threshold over here okay and then it over here i am just using the iou calculate iou function to calculate the intersection over union and then I, I'm saying if IOU is greater than the IOU threshold, which you have, we have defined over here 0 0.6, then we have the final boxes, which will be saved in the final boxes list. Okay. So you, here I'm just implementing the, uh, calling this non max expression. And here I'm just passing all the predictions, which I have in that dot txt file. Okay. And when I just uh, display, uh, these predictions over here, so you can see at there over here, we have the best uh, bot. We have only one bonding box around the child as well as bonded around the dog as well. So from previously we have three bonding boxes around the child and two bonding boxes around the dog. So using non max expression, we have selected the best bonding box around the child as well as around the dog as uh, well. So that's all from this video tutorial. See you all in the next video tutorial. Till then, bye bye.